Hey everyone and welcome back to EU4 as Coptic Ethiopia and as you can see we have gone forward a lot of time already. We didn't actually spend all that time fighting Butua. We fought them and won relatively easily I think um, and yeah this is what I took in the first war and now we're ready to declare the second war which is very uh, very amazing. I also cleaned up a little bit here in Oman. I did not take over everything but I did take the very important development province and I did finish off Najd as well. So yeah, that's pretty good. I did not really do anything else but that. Um, I have been building a couple of manufactories, not too many, but the money you can see right here is actually going to be spent on embracing global trade because it actually takes a long time to get global trade as we do not have many stock exchanges and all these kind of things. So yeah, um, here's what I'm going to do. I will do a couple things. First of all, we also need to uh, get rid of this guy at 211. That's four monarch points. This guy is going to give us 10. So I think I'm going to be using the abdicate button right here that will uh, hit our legitimacy as well as prestige. But we are doing pretty well prestige wise, and legitimacy should also not really be a big problem. So I'm going to abdicate and then. Um, well, actually, no, hold on. Here, here's, here's the plan we're going to debase the currency. Debase the currency once for 660 gold, right? Um, then we have enough money to embrace the global trade institution, right? So let's do that. That will reduce, drastically reduce our, um, well, our points needed for, um, for picking up some new technologies. So we'll do that. We'll pick up as many technologies as possible as well as as many ideas. So let's do that first. And wait, I can, how much is this? 480. So I can probably get another idea in as well. No, I guess we'll just we'll just do this. That's totally fine. Okay, so we've done everything we could with this, well, Scola. So at least we saved 5%, I guess. Now we're going to abdicate. Um, yes. And we'll have a much better ruler who... Oh, we actually also lost prestige, but that's totally fine. Uh, we have a much better ruler. And uh, he's even a tactical genius, which I guess is fine. Um, but this is what's important. We're getting many more points. And yeah, that's hopefully going to help us out. Okay, now we can also get a new unit type. I wasn't even aware of that. Okay, those are just cannons though. Alright, well, we'll pick the cannons up. And I guess we're ready to declare the war. Well, in fact, we're not because I don't even have my diplomat. So let's come back and we'll declare this war as soon as we can. Perfect. So yeah, we have a chance of regency. But, oh, successful between Poland and France. Well, that's not going to happen because we'll we'll go to war and then, uh, yeah, nothing nothing uh, is going to happen. Now, I did have the chance to claim the throne of Armenia. I did do that, but uh, I, I didn't really want to go to war with them. So, yeah, nothing came out, came out of it because they did manage to get an heir. Okay, so you're going to be the one sieging, uh, I think. And you're going to be... Actually, you're going to be the one sieging. I wanted to siege this. And I want you to get together and you get this general. Alright. Yeah, the other general you can see, the third one, um, he was actually an event. 50 tradition general, apparently, but he's incredibly shit. So, yeah. Uh, we'll just go here and, and we'll see. I mean, I even know where his army is. Oh, there it is. Well, that's his army. Okay, you know what? Before we, before we do any, any of this, we might want to actually fight his army. Because that could be that could be quite a problem to deal with, right? Let me see. Yes. Well, he still have he has not advanced in technology. We have at least advanced one stage, and I do believe that I will just send you to collect from trade here. Um, I've once again tried to do many things. We just we're just not really making enough points from Alexandria. I'm very surprised about that, to be quite honest. But okay. Um, yeah. So we should just move in right now I feel like actually you can well I mean there's no point in you staying there so let's just make you go to Zimbabwe and then we'll uh, we'll attack oh he's running away well I would like to smash his army around a little bit before we really take him on oh come on don't be like that that's just that's just annoying now that's just annoying now all right well we should be able to destroy him pretty quickly and yeah, with the rest of my money, the, we actually have a pretty decent economy now. Uh, with the rest of my money, I would like 
to uh, buy some more manufactories because maybe we can get manufactories spawned in our realm. Uh, that would actually be incredibly useful because, yeah, then, uh, uh, well, uh, then we might actually have an edge over the other great powers. Especially, well, the Ottomans are bordering us, so it's still kind of problematic, but yeah, that, that would be nice. That would be really nice. So, even though Poland and Russia have the deficit, also does, so does Poland. So, yeah, that, those are my allies. Uh, those are my allies, obviously. Hmm. Yeah, it's not looking too good. It's not, we're the only ones that are somewhat able to keep up in, in terms of development with the Ottomans. Um, but the rest is just lacking behind. Well, and Russia, of course. They're also pretty close. But yeah, this is not this is not too good. Now, um, I would like to choose a new idea group. Uh, military, although economic is kind of important as well. But I feel like we just need to go for military ideas. Otherwise, I mean, <laughs> we're just going to go down. At some point, we will have to fight the Ottomans. And I don't really want to wait until 1820 to do it. But I might have to. Um, it's just, the Ottomans are just so incredibly powerful in this patch. It's, it's insane. It's insane. And um, what is going on in the background? Something is something is really wonky in the background right now, which is uh, a little bit frustrating. But yeah, anyway. So um, I did send my merchant. Yeah, that's fine. And I can invest in military technology. Now, do I want to do that? I kind of do. Although I would like to finish this as well, but I kind of need the military technology. We're so far behind. I mean, seriously. Military tech... We're 17, the Ottomans are 19, we're so far behind. Uh, and we can get better cavalry. So let's go, let's go for this, the swarm cavalry. There you go, thank you. And let's just continue this, uh, this siege here, or the, well, this, this war, I suppose. And can you just, uh, okay, you have 25,000 men there, you can go nuts in my lands, I don't really mind. As long as I get to siege your stuff. Now, you know what, I'm actually going to send my cavalry to capture this. And then maybe also this province right there. Just because I can. Feels like a good idea. Now, what is the... I did declare a holy war. Yes, I did. The second crusade. Very nice. Very nice. I like that's called a crusade. Gonna make sense. We, I think we only have about 15 more years of, of holy wars, if I'm not mistaken. So we kind of we kind of need to use it. So, yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah. The chandeliers blaze shadows not across the grand ball. So what's this? Oh, we can get an air. A 514 with a weak claim. Um Yeah, good evening, my lady. I, I kinda want that. I kinda want that because we need an air and that's actually a pretty decent one. We've been very unlucky with airs. So a, a 514 is actually it's actually decent, so yeah. We'll we'll uh we'll take that. And I want you to besiege this province. Thank you very much. Now, what can I take in this war? That's something I would very much like to know. I definitely want to take the gold. And then I want to take this. And then I guess I could make you get... Well, no, you know what? Is there anything else that I want to particularly take? Let me just check out the trade goods. So we have... Oh, wow. It's a lot of ivory. So, yeah... And what about the development? This is 14, 17, 20. Okay, so how about you give me this, 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 this. Yeah. All right, fine. All right, I guess we'll take that. And maybe just, maybe just that. Let's just take this, that's fine. Uh, although I want more lands. More land is always good. And a little bit of money we can take as well. Although, I think I'd rather make you get rid of one of your cores. Okay, that's a pretty good 100% peace deal. I think that's what I'm going to be going with. Most likely. Okay, so now he's 27,000 men. I hope that we can at least siege his capital before he comes. Okay, yeah, he's not interested. Nice. Alright, that's really good. That's really helping us out quite a bit. And I will send my cannons to help out capture this. And you can quickly try and siege this. And now we've got him. Uh, I mean, there's one more fortress that we need to we, we need to take over, but um, that shouldn't be too difficult. And I don't think he has any more fortresses, so yeah, this is great. And we're gonna have we're gonna be fighting a, one more battle, and that should be that should be it. We should win. Well, and maybe take that one fortress there. 
Maybe I'm not even gonna take that province. But then again, no, I will. I will. Because I don't want him to have any forts. Because that's annoying to deal with. Those are all things I need to siege in. Yeah, I'm quite frankly not too interested in doing that. Okay, so I don't know where he's going. And actually, I don't really care. Because that gives me time to just siege down his stuff. Which is kind of funny. Um, okay, now I think since we are making some bank, I, I, I might as well use my money to root out corruption. Because, you know, there's no reason to have corruption going on right now. Okay, so negative 21, that's gonna, it's actually gonna go away pretty quickly. And I'll think you, I'll send you here. And then you split in half, and you can take that as well as that. I hope he's not gonna make his way over there, but I don't think he will. We shall see. With 88%, so most likely he's even going to accept whatever I offer right now. He would. He would accept this. Okay, so if I don't do that, can I take another province? I cannot. Do I want the 300 gold? It's actually pretty good. I'm gonna take the gold. Alright, peace out. We don't even have to fight him again. That's very nice. Okay, I didn't even look at who is mad at us, but uh, I suppose it doesn't matter. We're just gonna core everything. Um, and yeah, that was that. Pretty, pretty smooth war. So this was obviously much easier than the one we fought before, but that is also because he didn't really... We, did, we only had this one battle, really, that we fought. So, yeah, let's get you guys here. And you, I want to just put somewhere else. Perfect. So, that was the war. Also, now, you can, you notice that I have my spy network here in the Ottomans at 100%. And I did that because that apparently helps with, uh, well, the uh, tech, tech cost. We can actually get a negative 10% tech cost for 100% spy network in the Ottomans. I was not aware of that. I would have used that. But that's pretty amazing. I mean, that's as much as the neighbor bonus. So I'm definitely going to go with that. I'm, I'm always going to try and do that. I might... I think it just has to do with rivals. I think you have to have that in your rivals. So maybe I'm going to do that in France as well. We'll see how it goes. Um, if that could be added up there as well. But I think that would be a little bit too overpowered. So I don't think that's actually possible. But yeah, so we've been able to do this. And I think it's time for a new... Uh, yeah, for one new of you guys. Ah, uh, no, this is not really all too good. 28 is decent, but that's not really as much as it could be. 27? No, I think there's going to be a better... There's going to be a better deal somewhere. Mm, don't see... Oh, 43, that's pretty good. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the 43 here, yes. Yeah, that's, that's pretty decent. Anything else? No. Um... Or is there, there maybe there may have been a better option that I've just that I won't be able to find now. No. Okay. What about if I do the weapons manufactory? No. Okay. Well, this is pretty good as well. Okay. I should remember that. And anything else? No. So I guess the next manufactory is going to be the weapons manufactory over here. All right. Cool. So and actually, I'm be I'm going to be able to build that one very soon. Why is that so good, though? I don't know. But, yeah, that's that's nice. Um, we're losing money right now. Why is that exactly? Why, why, why am I losing that much money? Uh, that's, well, army maintenance. Yeah, I mean, of course, my army costs a little bit. I guess since the rebels are not too pissed off just yet, I might be able to reduce the maintenance. And you know what I should also do? is probably, uh, yeah, in, in, increase the autonomy here, just because I don't want to fight with you. All right, truce with Oman has ended, so that actually means I could go to war with you right now, and I probably should. I probably should do that, just to, to wipe you off the map. I mean, seriously, you're just, you're just annoying. I don't actually want to have you. All right, so let's, uh, let's actually fund our troops again. Uh, that was kind of stupid. Um... Alright, yeah, that was kind of a waste of time, but it's okay. So we'll give you this general. And we'll just destroy these 7,000 men. I hope that they won't be able to escape. They might. But they won't be able to besiege it fully, so that's okay. So we're losing money, but as I said, that's not that big of a deal as we have enough in the bank. And are we getting rid of corruption? Yes, slowly but surely. Oh, extension's hitting hard. But that's, that's fine. Okay, so one more month we'll wait, and then I guess it's uh, it's time to attack. Yes, I guess that's enough morale. Declare the war, you have no friends, 
Declare Holy War. Thank you. Just so I can actually save the Dipple Points and we'll attack. Yeah, he, he, he won't be able to escape. Sweet. And he can only run here. His army is going to get smashed. And, okay, it already got smashed. Alright, perfect. So let's give me the cavalry. And I'll go over there. Awesome. So that was that war. Pretty much done. I could send some of my ships to blockade. But I don't see why I should. Let's get my infantry out. They're not needed. It's just, yeah. We, we don't even need all of the uh, artillery. Yeah, we could actually get rid of one artillery here. But that's that's okay. Do you have the... You also have the siege guy. So yeah, this should go relatively quickly. Lose the stability, I suppose. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that's, that's, that's better. Because I kind of need the Diplo. Okay, so we had 100 spy network construction with the Ottomans. So that will help us with future technologies. And we should also probably... Hmm. You know what? I will insult England, in fact, because England is less likely to attack us. As you can see, um, Europe is looking kind of strange. Um, I'm not really able to do much here. Wait, I wanted to send an insult there. There you go. That's going to give us 50. I don't know how we're going to stay above that, but at least for a month or so, we should get an extra point. So that's nice. Yeah, we're going to be staying at 50 for a while. Good. Now, yeah, Fez is just incredibly powerful. Portugal was not able to hold their, well, well, keep their personal union over Castile. And you are target of a coalition of Brittany, France, Aragon, and Galicia. Oh, wow. That's, that's a lot. Ottomans were also able to defeat Bosnia, which is not really a big surprise. And the Timurids, who are you fighting? Oh, you're fighting Russia. Yeah, Russia is just, Russia and Ottomans, they're just, they're just bullying the world. I mean, I'm, I'm a great power that is somewhat able to withstand, but not really in a in a one-to-one -one combat. It's just that France, everyone is rivaling me. Let's have a quick look at my rivals, by the way. Yeah. Let's have a quick look here. Well, actually not everyone's rivaling me, but at some point VJ rivaled me and others as well. I guess it just grew too powerful for them. But yeah, they they want to fight me, that's for sure. Now that we have actually defeated them, I think it's time that we yeah, unfund our forces again as we don't really need them. We don't really need them. The war is over. We, we won, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I will full annex Oman as well. We should have enough points for that. We might actually, at this point, we might actually be lacking in in admin. Uh, yeah, we're actually behind in admin. We are behind in, uh, in technology. That's kind of cool. Well, it's not cool, but yeah, anyway. So, what's this? Desires of the flesh. So, we can lose prestige. Money, unrest, no, I will lose the prestige, yes, because, I mean, that's the that's the thing I'm going to get back really quickly, as you can see, so that's the one thing I'm going to be worrying about the, the least. Okay, so that's very nice, uh, I have one free diplomat, I'll use that to just full annex you, and also, I want you to give me all, I want you to get rid of your cores, and I want you to give me all your money. Oh wow, 400 gold, that's that's amazing. Come on, I don't want him to lose it. He's actually gaining it. Ah, nice. All right, so hopefully next turn we'll be able to piece you out. We're not paying any dipple for this. Always, I love this CB. In, in this, even with this CB, I was always behind a dipple. That's just insane. All right, come on. Can you please cap this now? It would be really nice if you would. Yeah, I should have sent my fleet. I should have sent my fleet to help out here. But, oh well. Come on. Ugh, oh, bastard. Alright, well, I guess we'll, we'll wait a little bit. One more turn, or one more month. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Civilization. That's why I said turn there. But yeah, it, it, it's it's one more month. No turn. Come on. Alright, there it falls. 100%. And please, give me all your money. Yes. Okay, we'll get rid of your cores there as well. Sweet. Alright, that's, that's very nice. Two good wars. We've grown in strength quite a bit. Uh, and overextension is pretty bad, but yeah, we can still handle it, I think. And I would love to... Yeah, I cannot actually convert any, every, anyone just yet, but we will be able to do that later on. Okay, so yeah, we can just uh, clean that up. And basically now, it's just us waiting to go to war with the Ottomans. I guess I could feed myself on Persia, because they have been... Everyone has attacked them. I'm actually surprised as to how well they're doing, because they were at war with Russia, with me, with the Ottomans, with the Timurids, with Sindh. 
um, they've actually managed to hold on to their to their lands, and I'm quite quite amazed on how they've done that. But yeah, um, I might do that. I might attack them. Iraq is unfortunately allied to the Ottomans, so I can't really do anything about them. Tunis is my ally, and I don't really want to go for any islands or stuff because, uh, yeah, I, I don't I don't want to have to maintain a, a navy. Uh, a navy that I have to rely on, I should say. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think Persia might be the only target we have left. And then it's just waiting for an opportunity to beat the Ottomans, which might never come. We'll have to see. Anyways though, I'm going to have to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you next time.